Hey everybody, welcome to our brand new video. If you're new to this channel, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Jeff and I make a lot of very simple and delicious recipes. So stay tuned because definitely today is no exception. On today's video, we're going to La Bella Italia. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was with my wife in Rome, and one of the things that really caught my attention was the bruschettas that you can find everywhere as a starter. So today, with one bread, we're going to be making five different bruschettas. So, let's get into it. So we're going to start with the classic bruschetta, and that is just going to be very, very basic. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that is going to be tomatoes, some basil, some garlic, some olive oil, and some vinegar. I'm just gonna give this bad boys a quick wash, and that's it. Let me remove the stem real quick, because you don't want to eat that, do you? All right, so I'm just going to remove this part right here, from the beginning, go in half, and then I'm just going to try to remove all the seeds. I just let my my knife go through, and be careful not to cut yourself. You don't want these seeds because those are going to, there's a lot of liquid in there, and the liquid is going to make your bruschetta just saggy. I'm just going to chop them very roughly, because even, as far as I know, in certain parts of Italy, they even just like cook the, the, the tomato and then they just squash them in their hands and that's pretty much how they eat them. Once you remove the seeds, this is going to be, as you can see, it's not that liquidy, you know? And that is so important for this because you don't want a smoosh. I'm going in with my tomato. Now it's time for my gorgeous basil. And this is perfect because spring has already started, which means that we can start growing our own basil. And I don't know you guys, but I just love to have that gorgeous basil just out in the garden, or even if you live in a flat, you know, like you can just have one of those small pots and you have your basil. So also I'm just giving it a very uh, rough chop, I would say. So we've got our tomato, we've got our basil. So what I like to add though is a little bit of garlic. This might not be very original, but I like it. I just took a very small clove and I'm just going to um, use half of it because this is very strong stuff. So I'm just going to leave this for later. You want to save it. So with my garlic here, I'm just going to go very, very finely with it. Let me just add it real quick. Now, I'm just going to add some olive oil and I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar. A couple of drops here. There we go, something like that. And of course, salt and pepper. So I'm just going to grab my salt and pepper real quick. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. And the reason why I started with this one is because we want to leave this one just, we're going to mix it and we're just going to leave it at room temperature for around 15 minutes. And that is going to make all the flavors combine with each other and that's going to make it even better. So let's just lift this one here and let's go to the second one. All right, so for our second bruschetta, we're going to be making caramelized onion with mushrooms. So I just need to grab a pan, just a regular pan, I'm going to put it on, I would say like medium heat. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And now I'm just going to grab my spring onions, remove the part that I want. Let's get rid of this. So we're going in with our onion. Now that our onions are in, I'm just going to turn the heat up to about, I would say like medium slash high heat. And I'm going to grab my, my beautiful mushrooms and start chopping them. I'm 
All right, so our onions have been cooking for like about a minute now. So now I'm just going in with my mushrooms. And we're just going to add some pepper and of course some salt. And before this is done, I'm just going to add a, a, a small knob of butter that is just going to make it a little bit creamier. So we're just going to let this cook for like, I would say like between three and four minutes, maybe a little bit longer, until you see that our mushrooms are well cooked. All right, you guys, so our second bruschetta is ready and it looks and it smells just mm, delicious. So now what we're going to do is with the same pan, I'm just going to put it on high heat. I'm just going to grab my olive oil and I'm just going to add a little bit more and now it's time to make our artichoke and garlic bruschetta. So, I've got my artichokes already here, ready to go. They're already a little bit dry, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab my uh, garlic. I'm just going to give it a quick, something like that. And, there we go. That's all I need to do. Now, my oil is hot. All I'm going to do is remove this from the heat and I'm just going to go through with my oil and this is going to make your oil so aromatic and so full of flavor and fragrances it's just it's a it's a very simple thing to do but it's a very powerful way to add flavor to our oil all right so just try to do this for a couple of seconds in my case this is perfect so I'm just going to remove the garlic now ah, my oil is smelling terrific I'm just going to grab our gorgeous artichokes, grab like this, and there we go. And the rest one you can just chop a little bit. So once this is cooked, we're going to add our chives and some Parmesan cheese. We want this to be a little bit brown, right? So it is very important. In my case, I bought some artichokes from the tin, so they're already cooked. If you want to start from, from scratch, you can just check on Google how to cook properly an artichoke because there's a little bit of an art involved when doing this. Not that complicated, but it's a little bit time consuming. This is pretty much what we're looking for, right? Uh, it doesn't, there we go. So as you can see, for example, here, you can, you can see some browning going on and that's what we want, right? And now it's time to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna grab and try to take flakes out of it. Something like this. And we don't want too much because this is going to overpower everything. Just a couple of drips of vinegar. That's it. That is absolutely it. This is ready, I'm just going to turn this off. And time to go with the next bruschetta. All right guys, so now we've got three already done. For the last two, there's really no cooking involved. So all I'm gonna do is grab my gorgeous bread and I'm just going to cut it around an inch. We're going to start with prosciutto mozzarella. So for that one, I'm just going to, I've got some chopped mozzarella and some prosciutto. So all I have to do Ta-da! As simple as that. As simple as that, if you want to, you can add, of course, olive oil. And remember that tiny piece of garlic that we saved a couple of minutes ago? Well, we're just going to grab it right here. The part that we cut, we're just going to rub and massage our bread. And this is going to give our bread a lot of flavor, believe it or not. So now it's time to finish our bruschettas. Our first one right here. Oh, the smells, the smells, you guys, the smells are so good. Just going to grab this real quick. Add a bunch of my gorgeous tomato. All right, so now it's time for our mushroom bruschetta. I'm just going to grab this. No need to be polite here, guys. Just go with it and look at that. Ah, look at that piece of gorgeousness and perfection. And the last one, I'm going to add again my reliable olive oil. 
and our artichoke. So I'm just going to put it like so. All right, so now I'm just going to grab my chives and I'm just going to chop some of them very finely. So again, we're just going to add a little bit of Parmesan. All right guys, so there you have it. It was so simple and with just a gorgeous piece of bread, we created five gorgeous bruschettas. And just to summarize, this one is mozzarella with prosciutto, this one is artichoke with spring onion and parmesan cheese, this one is one of my favorite and it's literally just olive oil and garlic, this one, this beauty right here, is mushrooms and spring onions and of course, your regular tomato bruschetta. So, there you have it. It was so simple. This, if you make it, like if you have a party or something like that, you're going to blow your guest's mind away. So, I strongly advise you to give it a try at home. And yeah, if you like this video, do not hesitate to go bananas on that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, because trust me, that would help this channel a bunch. And I will see you on the next episode.